You like that? Yeah, I, that song is going to be in my head all day. Oh, it's a good song. <laughs> all right, from the farm, definitely a necessity out there, sunscreens. Yeah, and whether you're hanging out by the pool, wherever you're going to be, if you're outside, you need sunscreen. And we're here with Kimberly from Rejuvenate Spa. And where are you guys located? We're located at 96th Street in Shea in the Ironwood Square um, complex there. Okay, so you're an esthetician there? I am. Now, we've been hearing a lot of bad stuff about sunscreen right. lately. The concerns with putting the sprays on your children. Uh, do you have people come to you that are nervous about using yeah, sunscreen? Absolutely, because it's, you read it all the time in magazines, and it is on the news sometimes, too, about certain things. And, yeah, especially being a naturopathic clinic, we definitely are, you know, sources people want to go to. So, so yeah. you have a recommendation for how to make some sunscreen mm -hmm. at home. Let's get right into this and figure out how we can do this ourselves. Okay. Well, first of all, I better turn this off. We're going to bring this over here. It's not quite boiling yet. That's just water? This is just water. So what we're going to do is we're going to melt the, la the base of this. So okay. I'm basically going to make like a lotion base. So what you want to do is you want to put like a quarter cup of, let me just grab Sorry, this really here. Stuff That's okay. So you want to put about a quarter cup of shea butter. already measured quarter cup of this is coconut oil so we're gonna put all this on our website too so folks can at home can try this on their own and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt that and that's why oh, I okay that you just set it right in the hot water yeah so basically what you want to do is you want to have this stuff kind of get liquidy and it doesn't take very long for that to happen you can see it's already starting to break down a little bit and so how about Milton. I stir this and then you can show us, do you have a finished product over there? I do, okay. I do. This is one I took from home, actually, and I, I saved it for the very end. And at the end, all you do is you take some aloe concentrate and you take zinc oxide. This is zinc oxide. Where do you get that? Where would Online is really the best source. Um, organic is always best, best for everything, so that's what I do. Um, and what was this again? This is the aloe concentrate. Okay. So you mix this with what we just... Or break it down over here? Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple different steps. It okay. essentially takes about like 15 to 20 minutes to do. And so basically you're going to turn that into a, a liquefied version of that. Okay. I cool it in this bigger Pyrex thing over here. Then I can um, add my preservatives. I've got some citric acid here. I've got some vitamin E capsules. And then you can add essential oils. You can add any one that you want. I like Make lavender. Yeah. yeah. And the this zinc oxide, that's better yeah. for you than what is in a lot of sunscreens, which would be retinal <laughs> helmets, right? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. You don't want to You don't want to um, use a lot of the chemicals that are in typical sunscreen. Oh, oh, it smells really yeah. nice. It smells it's good, really yeah. soft. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, I like this. this Here, I'm going to use it on my hands because yeah, I'm worried like about the aging. lotion base right now. So in order to make it into the sunscreen, what you do is you add the zinc oxide. Oh, that's not sunscreen yet? Not yet. Oh, wow. So you just add <laughs> no, a lotion. Just lotion. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So and that zinc sun, oxide yeah. is what's going to give you the sun protection. Right. And right. it works by deflecting the sun's rays, right? Yeah, because typically what happens if you have a chemical is if here is your skin and here is the sun, what happens is it draws the sun's rays onto the skin and then diffuses them across the surface. That's something that is kind of more impactful than if you have zinc oxide and you have the sun knocks it right off. Right. So, so it's not transferring it into heat. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, yeah. Kimberly, you can go see her at Rejuvenate.